All right, let's do some more effects. So let's grab our nature enthusiast. Let's deal with this picture now. All right, I'm going to bring up our panels. We already have the behaviors tab up here and the picture selected. All right, so let's go back into effects. And I'll show you one more in the Grow Shrink. Um, from 100% to zero. See how it, that's what it's defaulted to. And you can choose a different option here. Um, instead of from the center, um, from the top left corner. And we're going to grow from zero to 100 percent. All right, so watch this. Um, we're going to do it on click, which is fine. Control S. Now let's go into the window. I'm sorry. We're going to open up a web browser. F12. Make sure that we allow blocked content. All right. Aha! Look at that. You click on it. Ooh! <laughs> All right. All right. We can remove it by clicking the minus sign if we wanted to. That behavior's gone. So let's reselect it and let's go to a different effect. Appear fade. So we can. We're going to keep current selection, which is the picture, how long you want it to to continue. So we'll leave it at, at, at its default, 1,000 milliseconds. Fade or appear. Let's do fade. And we're going to fade from 100% to 0. And let's see what that looks like. And I want to do mouse over. Those are pretty much the two you see a lot. Mouse over, which means you hover the mouse, or click. All right, Control S to save, F12 to preview in the browser. Allow blocked content, yes. Disappear. And see, now I'm thinking that if you did do that, you wouldn't want it to fade back to nothing. So I would change this now to fade from 100% to 40%. Control S, F12 to preview. Allow blocked content. like so. All right, that's another effect. Let's change, let's delete that one. And let's do shake. You've seen shake, but let's not do it. Let's do it on the words up here. Or, let's see, whoops. Hmm. I don't know how those got changed around. That lettering. But let's change the color to dark red. Oh wait, we're already in dark red, so we want like a yellowish burned color. Uh, okay. All right, so let's select this text.
add an effect to it, and we're going to do the shaking effect. Okay. And let's do it on click. That sounds good to me. Control S to save. F12 to preview. Allow blocked content. Now let's click on Nature Enthusiast. It's actually shaking the whole um, the whole header, including the box. I mean, it's true, Dreamweaver is limited in its effects that are built in, but they might be useful. So those are just a few so far. Enjoy. Experiment.